Hello friends, the time is upon us. The Masters on CBS. I am Kyle Scott, CrossingBroad.com, joined by Jim Nance and Jason Zernicki of BetNewJersey.com. Are you excited for Augusta National? Very week? excited, very excited to hear the birds chirping and the soft sounds of Jim Nance's voice. The dulcet tones, don't forget we have Vern Ludquist over on 16. So we are here to talk about the betting odds for the Masters this right here represents your odds-on favorites, along with a long shot in Bubba Watson. We'll get to him in a second. What you see over on the right column represents the best available odds on each of these players at the three leading New Jersey sports books. They are DraftKings, FanDuel, and PointsBet. Before we get into all this, before we get into prop bets, I want to talk a little bit about the best sign-up offer going in New Jersey right now, and it is from FanDuel Sportsbook. You can get any any of these guys or anybody else in the tournament at 100 to 1 odds. There's a maximum $5 bet will pay out $500 on any player in the field. If you are a new FanDuel or FanDuel Sportsbook player signing up at FanDuel Sportsbook, hit the link below, hit the link, register for FanDuel. You will be paid after completion of the tournament within 72 hours via promo code. Now that is a little bit unique for these sportsbooks. However, promo code will get you $500 that you can use at FanDuel Sportsbook. Select any of these players. Those odds are way better than anything you see here. That's FanDuel. Over to Jason on 15. Tell us what we can get at DraftKings and points. All right, two other fantastic options for your Masters betting in New Jersey. DraftKings, how about a free $20 bet? No deposit required, once again. No deposit required, free $20 bet at DraftKings. Once you do make your deposit, there's a free $500 bet option for new players at DraftKings. And now points bet, points bet, a free $50 bonus for just signing up at points bet. And then two free $500 bet options for new players at points bet in New Jersey. All right, so let's get into the actual odds for the Masters on CBS. Odds on favorite is Rory McIlroy. Best odds plus 800 available at points bet. He is, Jason, the odds on favorite. Has never won the Masters. This would give him the career grand slam in contention. A little bit of monkeys on the sh little bit of monkey on the shoulders. He is playing some of the best golf he has played in his career coming into the Masters. He is the consensus favorite at all NJ Sportsbooks. Everywhere you look, all of his numbers, he is playing absolutely phenomenal right now. If there's a time where he's going to win the Masters, this would be the year for it. Next up, we have Dustin Johnson, plus 1,100 at FanDuel. Or if you're a new user, don't forget, that would be plus 10,000 for new users. Dustin Johnson, he is not playing well right now. The thing he has going for him is that he can drive the ball a real long way. But Augusta National is a thinking man's course. And, well, Dustin, see ball, hit ball. Maybe Augusta is not the course for him. Low odds, don't love him here. Next up, we got Justin Rose. He's plus 1,200 at all NJ Sportsbooks, and there's a reason for that. Super consistent, always well-rounded player, always in contention, certainly can win this tournament. He's not playing his best golf of his career. He's not playing the worst golf of his career. He's just Justin Rose. That's what we got for him. Let's talk a little bit about where the money's going. All right, Tiger Woods. Every, obviously, everybody wants to know where Tiger has gone and where the money is. So Tiger at the NJ Sportsbooks, lines varying in, in a pretty good degree from 1,200 to roughly 1,800 where you'll find your odds from Tiger. So that's 12 to 1, 18 to 1 for your folks who don't love the money line aspect of how the Sportsbooks set it up. In terms of the money, where is it going? At FanDuel, we have Tiger getting 10% of the action, Rory around uh, 7%, and then uh, Mr. Fleetwood coming in. Well, not Fleetwood Mac, let's not confuse it with our favorite 80s band. Tommy Fleetwood getting 7% of the action at FanDuel uh, at 30 to 1 odds, by the way. So a uh, long shot there, getting some attention. And at DraftKings, Jordan Spieth seeing 20% of the bets coming in on the Masters, followed by Tiger Woods at 12%. So picking up where Jason left off on Tiger, let's talk a little bit about how well he's playing right now. It's probably the best he's played in the second half of his career. Some numbers, Tiger Woods, 72% greens in regulation over the last six weeks. 67% of his drives have hit the fairway. Best odds you can get on Tiger, plus 1,800 right now at FanDuel. I believe he's also boosted to plus 2,000 at DraftKings Sportsbook, so that is quasi wrong. There's an odds boost at DraftKings. This is probably Tiger's remaining best chance of picking up another major. He plays exceedingly well at Augusta National. 
This course favors him. He clearly likes this course. He's playing well right now. You could do worse than taking Tiger at plus 2,000 or plus even 1,800 to win the tournament. Obviously, the betters are putting their money there. Absolutely. Next up, we have Justin Thomas. Got some numbers on him. He is not playing particularly well. He has no wins this season. Now, he's a long driver. Augusta, wet. We're recording this Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Lot of rain, sopping, seeping, puddling rain on like the eighth hole. Expected to get another half an inch to an inch today. Justin can drive the ball 300 yards plus. That might benefit him because you're not going to get those rolls on the drive if the course is wet on Thursday and Friday. So look for him to maybe, maybe come out hot early on, but he's not playing particularly well. Next up, we have angry John Rahm. He's absolutely mashing the ball this year, averaging 307 yards per drive over the last six weeks. However, as we talked about with Justin, Dustin Johnson, Augusta National is a finesse course. You've got to control the ball around the greens. More importantly, you got to putt well. I'm not sure angry John Rahm, this is the course for him, even though he's killing the ball right now. One guy who does putt well, Ricky Fowler. You think he's the year Ricky Fowler? I hope it is. I hope it is. You'd love to see someone who's come so close so often come through and get the green jacket. So uh, I think the favorably by liquidity is uh, in terms of odds, you know, not exactly top of the pack, not even into the middle. So I, for me, it would be a great flyer to go on Fowler here for sure. Five straight years now, I've been saying Orange Fowler on Sunday was going to pull it out. He's finished top four in four of the last five years. Orange Fowler has not put on the green jacket. This could be the year he is playing exceedingly well right now. He's one of the most consistent players on tour, and he's maybe the best putter on the planet, which bodes well at Augusta National. And I'll follow up on Fowler, just one more point. If you think Ricky, hey, not gonna win, but top five finish, plus 360 money line for you at points bet for Ricky to finish in the top five. Let's talk about some other fun prop bet. Absolutely, how about a hole in one, okay? Well, since 1934, there's been 21 instances of a hole in one, of at least a hole in one. So 21 tournaments since 1934 that have seen at least one hole in one down at Augusta. We've had three in the last uh, three years. So 2016, 2017, 2018 might make you think that maybe we're due to skip a year here. Okay, so at points bets, a great prop bet. Will there not be a hole in one? Is paying out plus 125. Will there be a hole in one currently favored at minus 167 at points bet? I like the hole in one this year. I would, I'd, I'd take the dog play. Like I said, three straight years, I'll go, I'll go to the trend that starts to bend the other way with no hole in one. A big soft green to start the tournament. Get a nice little soft roll into the cup. Yes, we can see Nance with the call. Next up, big one, Jordan Spieth. At plus 2,200 are the best odds you can get on speed at DraftKings Sportsbook. Those seem like long odds for a very well-known, famous Under Armour golfer in Jordan true. Spieth. Here's the thing with Spieth. He absolutely loves this course. He always plays well at the Masters. However, he's playing some of the worst golf of his young career. At 26, he has more experience at Augusta than most guys in terms of how he plays and handles the course. But check this out, he's not playing well at all right now. Only 56% of greens in regulation over the last six weeks. This is the second worst on tour. 41% of his drives, only 41% of his drives are landing in the fairway over the past six weeks. Mm -hmm. He is not playing well. Is this one of those situations where a good golfer gets out of a slump? At Augusta and wins, those are long odds on a guy who likes the course. History tells us no. There are numerous, numerous Masters betting trends pointing to the fact that you must be playing in good form in the past decade uh, when you come to Augusta. Top 30, uh, finishing well in terms of your previous tournaments. The trends pile up in terms of golfers being in good form. That scares me here with Spieth. But with that being said, he's still highly favored. And then if you want to look at where he could finish in the top 10, points bet has him at plus 135 to finish in top 10 for the Masters. So the odds makers aren't exactly discounting Spieth here, even though a lot of betting trends for historical reasons at the Masters would say Spieth is not your play. He loves the course. Next up, Brooks Kupka. Kupka, Kupka. Mr. Steel, Mr. Steel, Mr. Your, Steel girl. your Girl. Mr. Steel Your Girl. Absolutely. So, so here's the thing. He drives the ball far. But he's not particularly fared well at Augusta. He approached a top 10 finish last year, and yet his best round, he's only broken a 70 once last year, and that was his best finish at Augusta. I'm not sure this course is for him, but at plus 3,000 at FanDuel, again, you could do worse. There's a pretty long odds Absolutely. on a good golfer who could hit the ball very far. Brent, a similar thing here with Francesco Molinari. 
He's in 24 rounds at Augusta National. He's only broken 70 once. That's the kind of a guy who just doesn't like this course, doesn't play well. Again, long odds, you got plus 2200 everywhere. But, you know, you got to break 70 a few times. You got to put up a low score to Augusta to win. Not sure he's the best play. So, we got Phil, who writes for Crossing Broad, loves Bubba Watson as a long shot, only because he plays well at Augusta, even though he's getting up there. He's 40 years old now, 40 plus years old, plus 3,500. Again, you could do worse than plus 3,500 on a good golfer that likes the course. Me, personally, I'm going with Gooch. Gooch. How's this for a redemption story? Guy gets all the negative publicity in the world for barely tipping his caddy. He's playing pretty well right now. He's playing absolutely phenomenal, actually. Check this out. You can get him at plus 3,300 at DraftKings. He's hit 79% greens in regulation over the last six weeks. 69% nice of his drives over the last six weeks are landing in the fairway. These are good odds on a good golfer, Matt Kuchar. Good narrative street there, too. Plus 3,300 at DraftKings. He's my long shot, not on the board. Who's your pick to win the Masters on CBS? I'll stick, I'll stick with the answer being right in here. And I think that, talking about narrative street and redemption stories, this all seems to lead towards Tiger Woods for me. Everything seems to be good health-wise. I think he's finally realized how to utilize his body properly in terms of uh, tournament activity and what he has to do. I love Tiger here, folks. I think it finally happens and CBS gets their dream scenario of Tiger once again there on Sunday in red going for the, going for the green jacket. What if we have a red-orange Sunday final pairing? That Tiger Woods, fun. Ricky Fowler with Jordan Spieth on their heels. I'll take any one of those three guys. I agree with you on Tiger playing well. Loves this course. That is your Masters betting preview. Be sure to hit the link below. Get the text-based version of all this. Find out about all the latest odds, promos for any of these sports books for the Masters. For Jason Zernicki, Bet New Jersey. I'm Kyle Scott. Be sure to hit that subscribe button.